the reason I'm into all this is because I'm into what's weird. I always have been. I mean, I've always loved the bizarre, the outre, the stuff of the edge. And, you know, I, when I got to psychedelics, I thought I'd hit the main vein of sprung verse or something. I mean, uh, it, it, if that's what you like, then this is your answer. You see, what the psychedelic is going to do is it's going to destroy your whole world, your whole conception of your world. And some people, that's tremendously liberating. They say, wonderful, at last I'm free of it. Other people say, my God, now I'm hopelessly mad. I have nothing left to cling to. I've really done it this time. And, and so that, that's almost a, an aesthetic judgment, whether you like watching your world shredded before your eyes and made into nonsense, if that makes you feel liberated and secure, then you can sign up for this carnival. If that alarms you, I think best to stick to the tribe and true. It's uh, not for people of weak psychic constitution. And what shamanism is about is, I mean, I know someone who says of the mushrooms, my goal with taking mushrooms is always to be able to stand more. And and they don't mean higher doses, they mean more of what it reveals. And I feel like that. I mean, the mushroom speaks. I didn't really stress this in my talk, but the strange, the confounding fact about these mushrooms is that they speak to you in plain English. And this is uh, completely unexpected. How can such a thing be? I mean, one is dumbfounded in the presence of this. And, and yet, uh, by being able to have an I-thou relationship to this thing, you open up yourself to uh, what is essentially a magical dimension, a dimension of allyship uh, with this thing. I come to this completely as a rationalist. I mean, I am more scientist, more rationalist than anything else. I am very uncomfortable with my position in the new age. I hate all that stuff. The quartz crystal suppositories and the channeling of dead Egyptians and all this horrible stuff which goes on. I mean, it's just an affront to the thinking mind. But when I encountered these psychedelics, I said, my God, skepticism is the proper path. And, and I believe this. It's, and it's not to believe, it's to test. I said to the mushroom once, why us? Meaning my brother and me, why us? And it said, because you don't believe in anything. You know, you're not a believer. And so it's, it's a real thing. It's a real mystery. It will not yield to reason. It's a tremendously well-kept secret.